another top priority when it comes to cruisers, the exhaust note. Honda engineers weren't lost on this either. Now, it's a little difficult to explain an exhaust note, but trust me when I tell you that the Rebel 1100 will give you a low pulse when you want it around town and a deeper, more powerful tone as you accelerate. Most importantly, a good, well-tuned exhaust note always says quality and never obnoxious. Okay, styling, check. Engine and exhaust, check. So far, the Rebel 1100 has the makings of a top-notch cruiser, but now... So a little while back, we introduced the Rebel 300 and the Rebel 500, amazing cruisers that are great for both beginners and seasoned riders. But now it's time to step up. Meet the all new Rebel 1100. You'll notice some Rebel family similarities at first glance. But under no circumstance should you be thinking that we simply dropped a larger engine into the frame of Rebel 3 or 500. No, this new Rebel was made to be one of the most advanced cruisers on the market. Let me explain. Cruisers start with styling, and the 1100 is not short of aggressive styling cues. It begins by blacking out most of the components and giving you a relaxed, easy riding seating position. Plus, LED lighting will remind onlookers that this is the new Rebel and not an old barnyard find that you put a can of polish on. But to be fair, creating that look wasn't that hard. Here's where innovation and decades of experience come in. The designers of this Rebel were challenged to lower the overall height of the engine, creating a lower center of gravity and a deeper bank angle. For those of you who are new to the sport, bank angle is basically the degree to which a bike can safely lean without tipping over. Now the reason this is important, it makes turning easier, something that is often a criticism of large cruisers. Now, how did they do this? with a Unicam valve train and dry sump with the oil tank built into the crankcase to make the oil pan thinner. Now, we're not all gearheads, so if you didn't understand that last part, just go back to thinking about those big sweeping turns. Okay, moving on to power. The 1100cc engine powering this beast is based on the parallel twin engine from our legendary Africa Twin, so it's been tested, tried and true. But for the Rebel, torque and output have been adjusted to suit cruiser-style riding. Whether that's a more relaxed ride or a more exciting ride, you decide. Another top priority when it comes to cruisers, the exhaust note. Honda engineers weren't lost on this either. Now, it's a little difficult to explain an exhaust note, but trust me when I tell you that the Rebel 1100 will give you a low pulse when you want it around town and a deeper, more powerful tone as you accelerate. Most importantly, a good, well-tuned exhaust note always says quality and never obnoxious. Okay, styling, check. Engine and exhaust, check. So far, the Rebel 1100 has the makings of a top-notch cruiser, but now it's time to pull away from the pack. Honda's not about to launch our top-of-the-line cruiser with just good looks and plenty of power. Decades of engineering some of the most advanced bikes in the world and technology from our full line of bikes has been incorporated to make this Rebel 1100 one of a kind. Here we go. Standard cruise control, because on a bike like this, you'll go far, trust me. Standard ABS, because you can't always control your riding environment. Honda selectable torque control and traction control. Plus, and I know you're not gonna believe this is on a cruiser, wheelie control, which limits lift on acceleration, allowing for strong but safe starts. Because on a bike like this, you know what it means when the light turns green. And finally, this is a cruiser with different ride modes, including standard, rain, sport, and a custom user setting. All of this tech and fine control is accessible to you through this 120 millimeter LCD multifunction display that maintains a simple design, keeping with this cruiser style. And finally, the 2021 Rebel 1100 will be available in both a traditional manual shift as well as Honda's state-of-the-art dual-clutch transmission, like the ones already found in our Goldwing and Africa Twin. So, what is the Rebel 1100 other than your next bike? It's a cruiser that fits the mold with looks, styling and sound, and then changes what happens inside that mold with advanced technology and engineering, making it a more enjoyable, safer and accessible cruiser for all riders. Oh, and for those of you who actually want to break the mold, there's a host of accessories available that will allow you to make the Rebel 1100 truly your own. Stay tuned for more on that. For now, just head over to honda.ca and discover the Rebel 1100 for yourself.